do Democrats need to do between now and Election Day to win the House, and what should they avoid? Well, I think that we've got a pretty good sense of what we need to do to win. We need to continue to support the incredible candidates that we have running our frontliners who are in the toughest districts and our red to blue candidates. We only need to pick up four seats to win back the House. And I was in the class of 2018, so I have seen it. Um, when you have great candidates, which we do um, for Democratic House members this year, um, you just need to let those candidates do their thing, talk to their communities, talk to their districts. And I think that that's really important. So continuing to support them, I'm working on that um, as the battleground finance vice chair for the DCCC. So making sure they've got the resources and the tools that they need. Um, and I think, you know, the key for us is making sure that we're talking to everybody. I think this is critical in Texas. And I think um, this is what I learned in 2018 is you've got to talk to everybody. Because as we heard, especially from President Obama last night, right, in his remarks, about how there's so much that connects us. There's so much that people want to see from our politicians and from our candidates. And what we want to see is people who are talking about the real things that matter to us. And that's what Democrats have been doing. I think we've got the money, the message, and the mobilization, as you know, the three M's. And um, we just have to keep um, recruiting and turning out our volunteers, making sure that people know the stakes in the election. And in states like mine, that people know how much their vote matters. It's going to matter in the Senate race. And I think if we can win the Senate race, maybe we can deliver our electoral votes for Kamala Harris uh, and Tim is, Walls. It's not is, inconceivable. Uh,